Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Rhyme. A lot happened in the last recording. We reached an area, had a hallucination, showed up in a different area. Now we had a day-night puzzle with the ball going around the circle, and then a giant pterodactyl decided to steal the ball. We are what in an area I can only assume is supposed to be the island in the past it feels like it is a more viking-esque world than than a greek roman world and I, I feel like the main character we've been playing in is might be more of a viking than anything else uh in the hallucinations we saw a desert turn into a ice world and we've already seen day night manipulation so if this became desert to frozen snowland transitions that might be something too I kind of feel like we might be near the end and we've got what is about the fifth cutscene so far um, that's like the first time I've ever been able to fall down anywhere So, we're in danger apparently, and we need to stay undercover. This is different from what we've been doing. Well, if you're in a scenario like this, the, the danger is that you're, you're going to... Uh, let's see. It's not humming anymore. The The danger in this is that you're going to run into uh, no way that you can just run around and get collectibles. And I suspect there might be collectibles. We still have the ya ya stuff, but yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this area. I feel like maybe we're approaching a point where the game no longer is reasonable to go back and try and play a second time to get all the collectibles. like. Unless I can eventually defeat this pterodactyl and and do something else. We need a key. We're missing the key. Makes all the butterflies show up. Hmm. So that they, they really want me to to be down in these areas and maybe the yelling and lighting up the torches doesn't actually do anything other than act as an indicator of where we've been. That might be the case. Uh, Our little fox spirit. Where where's the fox spirit telling me to go? Hmm. I heard him bark. Here we go. We see the scarab thing. By the way, we also saw statues and black cloaked like creatures okay so this is just gonna straight up rotate the rotate the wall hmm. is there a point where I wouldn't have to rotate this so much 
and just hold down the Y. No, it just turns. I'm still getting a lot of screen tearing. Got a key, and it's even telling me where to go to use the key in case we hadn't been there before. Hmm. So we're gonna summon a storm to kill this pterodactyl, but in our dream, we summoned the storm, uh, we saw a storm coming. It was giant, and I wonder if that's what happened to our society. This whole second half of the game very well may just be a uh, indicator of what happened in the past. Let's see. Seems like you're relatively safe. Um, Yeah, I get the feeling that that this is supposed to be the past and what happened. Um, it's almost even a little bit of Egyptians because we did see that Sphinx. And I think that is the idea here is that we are experiencing a great mistake that was made and repeating it. Um, and I don't know if we really have a choice to not repeat that same mistake. Like, I, I honestly don't think summoning a storm to get rid of a creature is a smart move. But you can see it feels like I am the prince with the coat, cape, and that is the king. And maybe I'm embracing the pterodactyl instead of this looks like a timed lowering thing, which I think needs to happen. It's also a door. Hmm. They won't, huh? Apparently. Hmm. So, oh, I see what this is. These, this over here is a new item that has to be blocked so that it turns into a moon so that the door opens. We've run into a lot of scenarios where Things get resetted. At least now the painting on the walls look like constellations or something and not just random random spl splotches. And so we're, here we have an orrery which is a 3D representation of the solar system although in this case I would say probably not even much of that. So my shadow can cover that much. So I think the idea is to do that. Hmm. Hmm. There's nothing down that way, I don't think. Somebody spent a lot of programming time on this. Might explain why this game is it's kind of the way it is. Is 
Because if somebody was doing a bunch of shenanigans like this... There we go. Uh, yeah, somebody spending a lot of time programming a light mechanic like that. That, that would be difficult. That would take a lot of effort. Um, and even though I have a ray tracing uh, video card, I'm fairly certain this game came out before ray tracing was announced as a t new technology that was being really embraced. Like, if it were an easy transition, this game with ray tracing would probably be a lot better. It's, it's trying to do the things that ray tracing is now trying to do. <laughs> Okay. And when I get grabbed, I get reset. Okay. Hmm. I just feel like these are one time actions really fighting me and now we've got the storm just released that way I wasn't really expecting that you can't like yeah guess maybe the idea is now we have an area where we can move and we're kind of protected okay I guess that's what we're doing they built this entire building with the idea that there would be a bird trying to attack me apparently If there was an achievement for never dying, I'm not gonna get it. And I'm pretty sure there isn't, thank goodness. If there's an achievement for dying in every way possible, I may get that. So we've got a giant spinning mechanism here. And maybe a collectible I missed. I can't yaw at this. So we pull out another one of these skulls, containers. We get another cutscene. Now it looks like he's on fire after being hit by lightning. All of a sudden we're doing some rather cruel actions for a game where we were just solving puzzles up until this point. Hmm. Meanwhile, the question the ask the question I ask is Is this something that I need to go down or not? Hmm, I guess the answer is no. I thought maybe I'd miss something. And I might. might be missing any number of collectibles around the edges here by jumping off a ledge or we've got a whole area. 
For a second there, it also felt like I could walk on the ledge and use that. Alright, so... Yeah, this is just... Just going in circles. Hmm. Can I jump up here? No. Can I jump up here? No. Can I jump down from this point? Nope. Hmm. hmm. So. I guess what I'm supposed to do is either go back down or find another path and I guess it was spinning because the windmill was spinning and now there's no wind spinning I can't yaw at those. Hmm. Hmm. So this is the shortcut out of this area, okay? Fall. We are safe now to wander around and see if there's anything else that can be found. Hmm. But then there is a probably several things I missed otherwise in, in the previous island so unless there's a way we we can travel back and forth I don't know how this really breaks down wasn't expecting this game since it's been described to me as as a short game to be as long as it is uh, my complaints of it being short is kind of not valid at this level. Uh, in, my complaints might change a little bit uh, if if this game was really expensive. If this was a uh, $50-$60 game, I'd still there's still room to complain. If this is a ten dollar game this seems perfectly lengthy enough hmm. we've got something these are the little ghost things so they just disappear when we get near them and they seem to run away from me Hmm. So they're terrified of me, and I'm not terrified of them, so I don't know what what you take from that. Fox wanted us to go that way, and there must be some way that we get over there at some point. This feels like one of those stories where you might be perceiving yourself completely different from the way everybody else is perceiving you and the monsters are you are the humans and you're the monster. Alright. I don't really have a way to jump back here. I'm pressing left, pressing downward moves me back that way. Guess maybe I'm supposed to 
do that. Hmm, I'm trying to yaw the lights. They don't want to yaw. Seriously? Those lights don't want to yaw, so... Yeah, if there was an achievement around yelling at all the lamps and lighting them up, it would be very easy to miss a bunch of them. And that was a full-on song. The not a... Not a just a yell. Some of his sing-songy lullaby singing does not match what's going on in the story. Or the, you almost have to wonder if the character is not grasping what he's seeing around here or just has some different understanding of reality than what a normal kid would have. Like, maybe he is just a magical being that controls fire. Like, if he was some kind of god, child, then that maybe he's got no fear or, or problems. But then we also saw him crying at what I assume is a grave, so... That seems weird too. Hmm. I don't think I can just swim in the water. Or maybe I can. So I can just dive in the water and there's an entire thing. Seems like we run into jellyfish. Seems to be some kind of red metroids as much as or maybe the red jelly jellyfish are just indicators so there might be this might be part of the island too And then there's... Are we going the right way is I guess a good question to ask. I'm not sure if I am or not. It's just... Am I about to drown? Or are these bubbles of oxygen? Oh, yes they are. They're bubbles of oxygen. Now we figured out what we're doing. Hmm. So, this might be just a boat extra collectible section or this might be something more and I may need keys hmm. I 
I have no keys. Okay. Well then, my guess is I, I shouldn't have been here for yet. Swimming with the fishes, I guess. We can get auction bubbles and we can see if there's a key somewhere around here. It can be a little bit intense. Did we just switch ourselves to the right place or are we still in the wrong place? Hmm. Okay. So. This will go exactly in the opposite direction we need it to be. So oh, that should be pretty good. Hmm. Honestly, this game feels like it's going long at this point. We'll have a very floaty jump. I, I don't think we're gonna get get it there. So let's rotate it a little bit more. That's I think more realistic. They put this bump here. If they had just rotated the column there, the the columns a little bit more, it would have been a lot easier to climb up. Okay. So we've got one key. Um, the fire here. Yeah, it feels like I'd have to spin this whole thing around and be standing right on that ledge to yell at the fire which honestly uh, I'll give it to the college try as far as marking things with the yelling but uh, I'm not willing to try to 100% this game it's too big I've gone from complaining about this game being short to saying actually no this is this is very acceptable in length. Uh, even if we ended in the next hour, uh, it works. Alright. So if we know that's one direction, my guess is that there's over this way another. go this way I don't think because I didn't I thought these orbs were going to light up when you yelled at them I didn't realize they were just giant bubbles of air they should have made the orbs a little bit wider in their composition instead of looking having a blue hue to them that would have helped separate it visually get up here though hmm. I this doesn't feel like an area where we're gonna flood the land 
didn't feel like an area where we could have reached it some other way. So I guess you just have to find that ledge. And I guess we're gonna take the long way. Something I'm missing under the water here. Yeah, I probably have come up in the exit area and I need to find a different area. Mm. Well, by the looks of it, doesn't seem like there is a different area. So maybe we have to start at the top and work our way down. I guess we'll go a little late today. Alright. Is there another entrance to this section? Well, this is where all the this is where all the things were. Hmm. He doesn't want to go anywhere near those jellyfish. Can't say I really blame him. Let's just look at look at the map. Like, yeah, you really can't go that way. You really can't do do anything so there must be something I'm missing this is a straight path this direction and then a straight path this direction with every piece of light indicating to me I need to go up here. And then in this small section there's no new place to dive down. So I've got this. Ah, there we go. They definitely didn't make that obvious. So. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff going on here. The, they needed to use the white um, lines that they've been using up until this point a lot more and jump and there we go two keys and it's kind of questionable if you can if you can ever have more than two keys well another 30 minutes plus we did get the pinwheel toy, which I guess opens, I mean, if you're supposed to collect these in this order, it might mean we are less than halfway through the game. And that would be crazy. That, that would be really crazy, but almost believable too. Like, hmm. <clears throat> I'm wondering if I just got bad information by listening to other reviewers who said this game was short. Like, this game does not feel short at this point. It feels perfectly fine at a reasonable price, at $5, at $10. Now, if this was supposed to be a $60 game and a PlayStation 4 exclusive on top of that, which it was supposed to be a PlayStation exclusive, 
then that might be a problem uh, as far as the developer making any money. Journey, I believe, was either very cheap or free when it came out as a PlayStation exclusive, so it could be that this game Rhyme, which I have no idea why it's spelled R-I-M-E, if that's supposed to mean something or not, um, it doesn't mean anything to me at least. I guess the comparisons to Journey as that being so critically acclaimed and I think close to free if not free might have, might be part of the problem. Uh, why people may have not liked this. But in retrospective right now compared comparing this to any kind of other indie 3D platforming game on Steam uh, it's it's not one of the worst by far. It's pretty good. This is this is a decent game so far. Maybe we'll run into some frustration point later on, or maybe I'll finish the game in the next 30 minutes and and then feel like I missed a bunch of stuff and maybe be a little bit upset about that. But I don't think that would really even upset me that much. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me even further there's a link to patreon or you can friend me on steam and gift me a game off my wish list thank you for watching have a good evening